if you're gonna hire a local realtor like me like i will give you some option for option number one for neighborhood for this one if you don't like it we will go to option number two <laughs> What is going on guys this is RJ Bautista top realtor here in central Florida with EXP brokerage welcome to my channel today I'm gonna talk about the five simple tips when purchasing a brand new or new construction home but before I start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also smash that like button for me if you found this value and also share this video to all people or the person that you know who would like to buy or purchase a brand new home or new construction house especially here here in Central Florida if you want to know which part or which area in Central Florida I am located or where my speciality is I am located in Claremont and most of my builders and location and neighborhoods I know most of the place here in Claremont if you particularly look in here reach out and I'll try my best to help you out all right so without further ado let's jump into it so I know how hard purchasing a home probably this is gonna be your very 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 expensive purchase in your entire life purchasing a new construction house think about this before you purchase a brand new or a new construction house you need to make sure that you follow this guide or these simple tips all right because this is huge this is important number one or my first tip that i'm gonna say if you are planning to buy a new construction house is get the pros and cons what do you mean by pros and cons rj all right pros and cons is think about how many people first who would live in your house like for example if you are gonna buy a brand new or new construction house for three bedroom how many people who would live in your three bedroom is it gonna be two kids three adults or it's gonna be four adults or five adults six adults so think about that first you need to have a plan so when purchasing a new construction house you have like two different choices all right your first choice or your first option is already built for you this is they call the spec home it means like the house is already built for you and all you need to do is just tell to the builder the builder will tell you like this is our spec home would you like to purchase this so it means like if you like to get that one you have to tell them like i love this one i don't have or i don't want to have any changes at all all right remember that one second option is a custom home or custom new construction home what does it mean when you like to purchase a new construction home they're gonna build it for you they're gonna customize it for you does it make sense so i hope that makes sense right so it means like whatever you want in your home or in your dream home or a new construction home they will do it for you for example i'll give you just a couple example if you don't like the carpet on the flooring on your brand new home or new construction home you can upgrade or you tell them like this is i want for my flooring for example i want a wood flooring or i want a tile flooring right for countertops what kind of countertops that you like do you like the standard countertops from the builder or do you want your own do you want like a quartz or do you want like a marble or do you want like you know any kind of countertops that you think it is fit for you that you will love right the cons is sometimes brand new homes or a brand new construction home they are located far from the city or the city center or the downtown would you be able to drive from downtown to city center or you don't mind driving like maybe 30 minutes or maybe more from your brand new home or brand new construction home to the city center or to the downtown sometimes you have to pay more on cdd payment or maybe you have to pay more on hoa payment it's just because they need to maintain the community or the neighborhood all right does it make sense so that's the cons and pro that you have to think about it all right the pro is i forgot that the pro that you can get on a brand new construction home sometimes they have like a warranty warranty up to five to ten years that is a pro for me because when i'm buying like a new stuff i want some guarantee or warranty but to make sure you have to do that in writing with the builder all right that's the good thing about buying a brand new home and the feeling of brand new home is very nice especially when you get in your brand new house and then you smell like a brand new house smell that's so nice it's like smelling like a brand new car when you're buying a brand new car when you get in your car you feel like oh this is nice right so same thing when you're purchasing a brand new home all right does it make sense i hope it does so if not if you have question on that comment down below and i will answer all your question about that so let's jump on number two or tip number two tip number two is you need to hire a local realtor <clears throat> Sorry.
you know, I'm a local realtor. So <laughs> you need to hire a local realtor is just because on they know much or they know better on your area that you would like to live, right? For example, I'm local realtor here in Central Florida and most area that I know or that I serve is in Central Florida, but I live in Claremont. So I know most good neighborhood and also builders who build some new construction home around in Claremont, right? Or next neighbor to Claremont like Davenport or Kissimmee. It's just because like this is my area. I know like what kind of neighborhood that we will fit for you. Like for example, you are a family of four, two adults and two kids and you are looking for a good community with near school, right? Because you're obviously your kids need to go to school while you're living in your new construction house or new construction home. Remember, if you're gonna get or if you're gonna go to one neighborhood, which is the builder realtor or the builder agent, they not gonna offer you different neighborhood. They will offer you a different size or different model house of their selling. Because remember, they are trying to sell homes that they need quota to reach that quota to make sure that they will sell home so they don't have option only the option that they have is their own builder i'm just being honest it's just because like if you're gonna hire a local realtor like me like i will give you some option for option number one for neighborhood for this one if you don't like it we will go to option number two if you don't like it we will go to option number three if you don't like it we will go to option four five six and so on does that make sense we are not just stuck in one builder and one community or one neighborhood so it's better to hire a local realtor in the area that where you would like to move if you have more question again comment down below and i will try to answer your question as much as i can or as soon as i can let's go to tip number three all right tip number three let's say you think about like what homes that you're gonna go to let's say you you want like a three bedroom four bedroom or five bedroom whatever you want it and you found like a, a local realtor <clears throat> now what you need to do next is the neighborhood you need to think about the neighborhood and the builder background what do you mean about the neighborhood and builder background so what you need to do is just like get a background we all have a internet right social media so let's say you message me like i want to live here in claremont and then i'll give you some link that like this is a good for you what do you think of this so don't just like what i sent to you if you want you can go internet and search it in google and let's say this neighborhood a neighborhood a and what is their background right and let's say the builder is this builder letter b what is the builder background right i'm gonna tell you like i'm a local realtor what i would say is i would get like this neighborhood a is a builder of neighborhood b right and then for me i have searched that one but for your personal preference you can search as well and you can add this one what you can do is you can come down to the neighborhood and maybe you can ask some of the residents who lives there currently and then ask them how is the neighborhood doing doing for them how is the builder how's their house because whoever lives in that area probably the same builder who built their house or built their home now let's go to tip number four <laughs> So let's go to tip number four. So tip number four for you is make sure that you know your finances, all right? What do you mean know your finances? Buying a brand new house or a new construction home is a very expensive purchase. Remember that. So you need to know how much you can afford. It means like you need to know like how much monthly that you can pay, how much down payment that you can pay, or do you have a pre-approval from your lender? Do you have a good mortgage lender or do you have a good bank that will lend you on your new construction home so something like that those questions make sure that you know your finances because otherwise when you look or let's say you go to the neighborhood and you went to this house that you really like and then you go in and then let's say i want to buy this house and then when they check your finances and then when they check it for you and then they could say like oh i'm sorry but you are not qualified for this house this is too expensive for you right they have a ratio they have like different ratios for different lender for different bank so it's better to be prepared first before jump into any construction new construction houses or any house that you like right does it make sense so if you are confused about that one you can come to me i will try to help you to find a good lender or if you have already a lender work with them and then ask them how much you can afford and also how much that they can lend you or willing to lend you you know to purchase your dream home or a new construction home right 
So that's tip number four. Let's go to last tip. Tip number five. <laughs> tip number five. All right. This tip number five. This is my last tip for this video because if I'm gonna add on more, you know, I could add another five more. This video is gonna be again long, long video. We don't like a long video. We just want to be a short and simple, but it's straight to the point. All right. So last tip that I'm gonna say for this, you need to get inspected your house or your home. What do you mean get inspected? So what I mean by here is like you need to make sure that you are happy on what you are going to purchase. You need to inspect like what kind of material that they are gonna use for your brand new construction home. You need to inspect like what kind of stuff they're gonna put in your house. If you are happy on those materials, if you are happy to get those materials inside of your house when building it, you're good to go. You have inspected. If you want to make sure, if you don't know anything about the material or for the builder that gonna put in your house, you can always hire a inspector in those particular area or in the, in those particular house that you would like to purchase. So make sure you inspected it and make sure you are happy on those all materials that they're gonna put in your brand new construction house. So if I miss anything in there, if you want to add more or if you have some question what you all you need to do you know the drill comment down below and i will try my best to get back to you and answer all your comments and your question or you can email me my email is down here you can see it here or you can text me my work cell phone number is down here as well if you watch this video until the end every social or every my contact information will be at the end of this video so this is the video for today i'm sorry if this is a long video but i try my best to get this simple as I can and summarize all the one I just want to share with you when buying a brand new home or a new construction home. I hope you like this video. Once again, I'm just gonna say again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and also smash that like button. You know, that's the most important thing. And also share this video to all people or the people that you know that who would like to get a brand new house or a new construction home. If you watch this video until this end, comment down below, dream home. So I can see how many people who watch this video until this end and i really 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 appreciate that one all right until next time and i'll see you on my next video peace so remember when you're negotiating what Nego <laughs> negotiating <laughs> when you're negotiating or marketing <laughs> let's do it again